first things first. Right, but we're going to visit a, a gallery, an art gallery. I know what you're saying. <laughs> oh, you're going to Old City, where all the galleries... No, 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 no. We want to go to galleries on the show that showcase neighborhoods. And our first neighborhood this time, Germantown. That's in the squat. The painting. The painting is in the... in. Inside of a squad in the South Bronx, where part of my philosophy was recorded. And my philosophy opens up with this painting, Rennie Molinar. I'm the artistic director in Perfect Gallery, founder and artistic director. The Casita was mm -hmm. one image that I simplified, that I, I, re, um, I did hundreds of casitas in different forms. The candles, which you saw the KRS uh -huh. piece, the candles are a whole body of work, they're spirits. What is the role of a gallery like Imperfect Gallery? To bring a divergent community of artists to talk amongst themselves and to talk with the community. Modern humans don't even come online until like, like, like if, if this is current moment. This piece right here, it's a timeline of humanity that shows that what we think of as like normal life, it's the barest microsecond of our, in, in our evolutionary history. The only thing I've done to these leaves is punch the four little holes. I, I've just got the first layer on, but it's gonna be many layers thick, and it's gonna be, instead of using canvas, I'm using leaves to make one painting on. But if, I think if you let people know that each QR code is different. In a case like this, with Vivian is a guest curator, I want her to have as much freedom to execute her vision. And the idea is that these are just flags for trees. As Your well. idea of bridging communities and, and connecting with people, it kind of falls right in line with when I was rapping with Remy about why he runs the gallery over there at Imperfect Gallery. Yeah, it's a perfect match. The vision that I had for the show and what he's already doing there and the community he's already built. Ephemeral Partner, the show that's coming up at Imperfect, it's art about human relationship with the rest of the natural world. And it's also a series of events designed to bring people together. We do Afro-Cuban Room every Friday, and that's a funky, um, really important tradition. Going back and finding these cultural traditions, it can connect us into something that feels really meaningful and, and special. And to then share that with other people and then to, to get to experience traditions that other people are sharing with you, it shows us how we're all the same. When she brought it up that she wanted to do a Seder, and we've done a Seder before in the Bronx. We did a Seder with a Santeria, performance and a Christian, I forget what, <coughs> all in one night, inside of a squat. Um, it was the coolest. Um, the, so I mentioned that to her and she loved the idea. In order for us to live more in accordance with our original instructions as humans, we gotta reach way back, like many generations back. Art is a powerful way to build relationships, which is really what can inspire people to change. There's so many wonderful things we can be doing. Instead of not looking at each other, instead of hating on each other, fighting each other, so. And you think the gallery helps? I think so. I think in our own simple, in a small way, I think we do. So that ephemeral partners runs from now mm -hmm. till April 15th, yep. and that Seder Roomba dinner is the seventh. Lots of events coming up that you can take part of, so go to imperfectgallery.com for all those wonderful details.